Hmm, buy or not to buy? Hi guys, so here is another video in the day in the life of me. So it's another hot one here today in Sydney, 38 degrees. Um, I did a gym workout this morning at 5am, so I worked on abs and legs. Um, for lunch today I'm going to have chicken bone broth with extra veggies. It's so hot here today and I'm wearing a long shirt. Who does that? Anyway, so I'm going to go and maybe have a smoothie for breakfast because I'm very hungry from my workout this morning at the gym. So I'm not going to wait till 11.30. I'm going to go in and make my smoothie now and it's 9 o'clock. So I'm going to make a strawberry smoothie and see how we go from there. Shopping. I just found out there's a shoe sale on. It's so hard. People that are six foot tall like me will know that it is so hard to buy shoes. Anyway, the store that has the shoe sale on has size 10 and 11 ladies that I need. So I'm going to go shopping. to people when you don't get enough um, electrolytes and sodium into your body. My body sweated out a lot of salt today. Um, the heat's really affecting me. Um, yeah, so I don't carry Himalayan salt around with me, but I did find some table salt at work and I thought that's going to be better than nothing. So I just grabbed a cup of water, um, a teaspoon and just put a tablespoon of cheese a teaspoon of table salt into a cup and quickly drained it, hoping to fix my headache that is starting to be really painful. <sighs> we'll see how we go. I'm going to go home in an hour, so hopefully it settles down by then because the pins and needles are really annoying me and my vision in my cloudy head is just not focusing right now. Keto flu, more like sodium, lack of sodium effects. Keep up your electrolytes and sodium, guys, especially on the keto diet. We need salt. I haven't really eaten a lot of salty foods in the last two days, so sweating all that salt and sweat out the gym this morning and being in a hot environment is really not helping me today. Um, as you can guess, guess where I am? I'm just having my 15 minute tea I'm going to run down to Woolworths, grab some more zucchinis. Yes, I'm obsessed with zucchinis. I'm going to make um, a cabanara dish tonight with zucchini noodles and add in a lot of bacon. Oh, 
Oh my god, it is such a sauna in my car. So um, it's now nearly quarter to five. I'm going home. Um, I'm guessing that teaspoon of salt in cold water really helped me because my headache is slowly going. The pins and needles in my hand have totally gone. I'm just feeling really lethargic though and hot. Um, so I must, you know, remember to keep adding salt to my foods. Um, as I said today, I just had soup and veggies and a protein shake this morning. So I haven't had much salt today and after doing a massive workout in the gym I sweated a lot and in this heat today I've been really you know thirsty and hot so I've got to remember to put salt in my food. I did buy some more goodies at the Woolworths. I told you guys I can't go for one thing. I was supposed to go for zucchinis and I came back with a Quest Bar. No I said I was going to stay away from Quest Bars but they were not special today and I hadn't tried this flavour. I think it's chocolate chip cookie dough. I thought last time I tried the chocolate brownie and it was really thick and filling and it had palm oil in it and some other ingredients which really affected my stomach and made my you know, stomach bloated and I felt really off after eating it. So silly me thought, you know, I'll give this one a go and see what it's like. Who wants to bet in half an hour? I'll be like, oh my tummy is so puffy and sore. Why did I eat that? So I'm only going to eat half. It's just because I'm hungry and I'm peckish on the way home. I've already eaten my almonds while I had my um, glass of salty water um, around 2.30. So I thought I'll grab that while I'm grabbing the zucchini. And I brought something I brought something else that was really interesting. And I've you know seen a lot of people advertise it and talk about it in their vlogs. Which I'm going to make, um, well I'm going to use for dessert if I feel like dessert after dinner this week. So they are Nature's Way cacao nibs. So they're supposed to be really good. You know, magnesium, iron, antioxidants. Everything that our body needs in the form of chocolate goodness. Add to baking, add to muesli, add to desserts, or add to smoothies. And let me see. It has 13 times more antioxidants than blueberries, 10 times more magnesium than a banana, 2.9 times more iron than spinach and 2.5 times more fiber than oats. I never knew that. So I wonder if that's per serving. So they reckon each serving size is 15 grams. You should get about six servings from this packet. Ooh, maybe one for me. Um, there's no, oh, sugars, 0 0.65 grams per 15 grams. Carbs, 5.28 grams so nine carbs per serve which I'll probably only have about 10 grams let's see if it can focus come on come on oh, it's not gonna focus for me it's gonna be naughty um, yes yeah, so I'm gonna show you my coconut chips that I brought yesterday I love them and the strawberries um, last night I had coconut and coconut chips and strawberry for dessert just something light that I you know wanted to nibble on while I was watching my favorite TV show Married at First Sight so tonight I'm gonna do coconut chips and cacao nibs if I'm hungry after my zucchini cabanara anyway it's hot I'm sitting in the car I should be going home well better get the kids first and then go home to my quest bar fans who told me don't be so harsh on quest bars give them another go so I have eaten about half of this quest bar and I must say it is heaps better tasting than the chocolate brownie one I had before it's like a soft biscuit with chop with um, bits of chocolate chunks through it it's actually really nice the chocolate's actually nice too so sorry for dissing the quest bars in my previous vlogs but this one's actually really nice I am only gonna eat half the bar very hard but I'm gonna try and only eat half the bar I forgot to mention the protein too so they reckon one serving is the whole bar um, 21 grams of protein and I had 29 grams of protein this morning in my protein shake so I hope 
hope I be good and behave myself because I want to only have half today and half tomorrow on the way home. We'll see. So I'm home from work, the headache's gone, the shakiness in my fingers, the numbness, pins and needles is gone. So I'm guessing that cup of cold water and salt help. So tonight we're having zucchini cabanara as I share you cooking. I'm going to get it in the bowl. So this is dinner tonight, very messy stuff in the bowl but it tastes yum. And my special guest tonight is Mum. Hello. Mum's come for a visit. Come help me wrangle the kids. And I've treated her to yummy dinner. So we're gonna eat our dinner now before seven o'clock comes. There is lots of cream sauce in this, but I've put in a lot of salt because I have very low sodium at the moment. Too hot? <laughs> Mm. Mm. Nice and creamy. Beautiful. Awesome reviews by mum. So now I'm going to eat my dinner. So if you're still hungry later after that big meal, um, I'm going to make a little dessert. So tonight I'm going to use the coconut chips from Audi, Nature's Way cocoa nibs, and a strawberry. Done. So that's another day in the life of Laura, done and dusted. Um, this video was just a quick video of a day in the life of me, but I wanted to mainly focus on what happens when you do not get enough sodium and salts into your diet. So especially on the keto diet, um, you, we sweat a lot, we eat a lot of fats and proteins, but your body cannot create its own salts. So it's very important to make sure you salt your food, even if you do get headaches like I did today to even drink a cup of cold water with a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt and it will sort you right out. So yeah, um, we finished dinner. Me and mum are just relaxing now. We're gonna put the kids to bed so we can watch some grown up TV with the little hours we have left of the day. Um, yeah, I enjoyed my shoe shopping today. I got some really nice shoes, which is very rare for me because, you know, as I said, I'm six foot, I have a size 11 foot to get nice shoes this size it's really rare now i just need to work out when i where i can actually go to buy nice clothes that fit tall people i love these button up long kind of flowy knee length shirts but to me they come up to my hips not very helpful so guys if anyone out there knows any shops around the sydney area that cater for really really tall girls help me out because there's nothing much out this way west so have a good week guys and I will talk to you in my next video. Don't forget to like this if you liked my video. Um, then I will do some more in the day in the life of me eating keto, you know, dealing with keto issues and just living my everyday normal life where I take you guys along. So give me a like, comment, let me know if you want me to do any different videos. And yeah, don't forget you can check out my website www.laurasketowayoflife.wordpress.com Check out my Instagram for all my food pics that I upload which is laura's underscore keto way of life and I've also got a Facebook page where I upload my recipes. Lots of things happening but I enjoy it. So thanks for watching guys. See you next time.